Test drive. Stephen, back maybe even before COVID, but certainly long time ago, it was standard operating procedure for the salesperson to drive the vehicle off the lot and for them to stop at some midpoint and um, do again a, a quick recap of what just happened and then put the customer in the driver's seat and have the customer drive back. That really is not happening anymore, is it? I don't see it. I don't see anything wrong with it. it is, uh, no, I, 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 I don't think... People really follow that form. I think customers sometimes get confused why they'll get to drive first. Well, well, I, I think, look, strictly for safety reasons, okay? Look, I drive 35 or 40 different cars every year because of the number of rentals I do. Um, I'm in a Nissan Rogue today. Well, I, Nissan Rogues are very popular with rental car companies, so I've driven tons of them. I'm pretty comfortable driving a Nissan Rogue. A couple weeks ago, the only thing they had was a Jeep Wrangler. Okay, I'd never driven a Jeep Wrangler. It was different. It took me, it took me a, a, just a little bit to get used to it. A number of years ago, I was in California, and they put me in a Toyota Prius. I couldn't even get the son of a bitch started. I had to go back to the uh, rental car and say, how do you start? It was push button. It was push button before push button. So is there a chance? Well, number one, is there a chance the customer is about to drive the nicest vehicle they've ever driven in their entire life? Yes. Okay. Number two, might it be somewhat intimidating? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to tell you yesterday that ST was just a little bit intimidating to me because that's a that's a big, a much bigger SUV than I'm used to driving and a significantly faster SUV than I'm used to driving. So it took me a couple miles to get used to it. And, I'm, and I drive cars all the damn time. So strictly from a safety and an aesthetic, for a safety and aesthetic reasons, I think if I'm looking at a Explorer for the first time, Candon says, get in the passenger seat. I'm going to, and then as you drive, you can talk about the steering, the uh, front end co pre collision shit, the uh, adaptive cruise. cruise control. You can talk about those things so the customer is comfortable enough to listen to it. And then when you get to a midpoint, you can stop, recap what's going on, and then say, okay, now you, you bring it all back home. I mean, wouldn't, does that make sense? Yeah, I think like even more so today with. Amount of technology in the vehicles, it's, it's overwhelming. Yeah, it's yes. To drive and, and talk about that. You know, how many, how many so buttons the are on the steering wheel? wheel. You can There's like 15 that. buttons on the steering wheel. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, it's it's it, it can be intimidating, absolutely. And intimidated people don't say yes, okay, because they're confused. Um, food for thought. Obviously, Stephen management's got to make that decision, okay. Um, describe key features and benefits on the test drive. Pre pre present the interior. Personalize it. Um, when I got in my, when I got in the ST yesterday, and when I got in the uh, Limited, I I went ahead and paired my phone with both of them so I could listen to check out the sound systems, listening to music. All right. Um, demonstrate the vehicle performance using pre. You guys have a predetermined demonstration route. Mm -hmm. uh, what you describe it to me. Cars are uh, com more complicated than ever. Uh, demonstrate vehicle performance us utilizing predetermined demo, demo routes, including discussion about uh, rides, smooth shifting, handling, braking, acceleration, hands-free features, and noise level. All right, and if you're, con if, if you're when, when I say conduct the turnaround, a turnaround place, view the vehicle with the customer, complete the presentation if applicable, all decision makers should drive, should test drive the car. So, if you've got a man and a wife and both are going to drive the vehicle, how many times are you letting both of them drive? And I'm going to guess very seldom. Answer, you know, you guys tell me. I mean, it's rare. Sometimes the man is just going to want to drive by himself. So right, but 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 if you ask the question, you know, who else is going to drive? Well, my wife's going to drive this. You know, some of the time, not all the time. Well, let's let. Would it be okay or sm even smart to let her drive? I just ask. I'm like, let's say the husband hops in. I'd be like, man, what do you like to drive? Okay, I think that's smart. Yeah. I think I think she think. says yes or no. If okay. She says yes. 
Um, I usually take them to the food line, not the food line, but the Lowe's right. the parking lot. They switch there. And just... Good. I think I think that's smart. I think that's smart. Paint a mental picture of ownership. Think of the most important things you told me earlier as you drive. So that's, that's to remind the customer of what their hot buttons are and point out how the vehicle is satisfying those hot buttons. Conclude the demonstration. Uh, reinforce positive comments using tie downs on quality, performance, and suitability. This vehicle seems to fit you. I can see you driving it. Please read me the miles on your new vehicle. What do we want to demonstrate as far as vehicle performance? Ride quality, smooth shifting and acceleration, handling, how it feels, steering and braking, quietness and noise level, technology, items, navigation, Bluetooth. Always remember, safety comes first. Never put you or, your, or a customer in any dangerous situations. All right, how do you conduct a vehicle turnaround? Select a safe area to turn around with nice views if possible. Turn off the vehicle, hand the keys to the customer. View the vehicle with your customer, emphasize styling, prepare your customer to drive, adjusting seat, mirrors, etc. Limit talking to allow the customer to experience the vehicle. And lastly, should we Make sure when we come back off the demonstration drive that we've got the right vehicle. Yes. Give me some examples of trial closes. This is what I always use. All right, follow me inside. It's going to make sense out of this. Okay, yeah. I, don't, I don't have any problem with that. Nope. I don't have That's any problem. Pretty much what I said when we get done with the test drive, I asked them if they like the vehicle. Okay, if the numbers and the money make sense, can I earn your business today? No problem. You like the vehicle? See your, could you see you pulling this in your driveway this evening? I yeah, I could. Okay, good. Angel? Yeah, kind of what he said. What he said? Okay. All right. Um, you know, this, Stephen, correct me if I'm wrong. This is based on my experience. You know, showing off the vehicle in the demonstration drive has almost been a lost art because we haven't had to do it for so long. Yeah. During COVID, we weren't even, we were just sending the customers out of the car, right? And yeah, and here's here's dealer tag. Here the keys. Good luck. You know, don't please don't steal the vehicle. Okay. Wear your mask. Wear your mask. <laughs> right. Let them test drive it for like two days afterward if they didn't buy it. You right. Know, it well, th th things are different. Okay. We we got to get back to this. You know, this this business uh, changes all the time. Okay. But certain fundamentals don't. Rapport is still important. Doing a good feature benefit, a good demonstration ride, those things are important. Um, 